Greetings everyone and welcome back to Civilization 6 where it is time for the next turn. We've got three turns on... Oh, what's this? What can I do for you? Open borders. Um, 34 gold isn't really that much to me at the moment. But, yes, I am going to accept your trade offer. You are a fellow appreciator of tea. I'm not going to say no to you. At least not for now. Okay. Inspiration. With such a large standing army, you may want to consider adding mercenaries if your army needs to expand further. Your progress towards mercenaries has advanced considerably. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic indeed. Let's just take you out. Maybe my scout can even move in there. There we go. Very nice. And, yep, there we go. Big old chunk of cash. Fantastic. Uh, that actually goes all the way up. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that, actually. So this is the, the better way to have gone. I do need to settle a, a little place down here, then. It's probably something I need to start looking into fairly soon. Uh, I wouldn't mind working on walls, given how much war is going on around me. I'll be honest. That seems like a better idea. Right, where's the unit that needs... What? You don't need healing, you lie. Ooh, I wonder. Might we be able to get over there, I wonder. Right, I would like to be down here and I would like to hook up this uh, cattle. This bonus resource source from cattle. Then we want to hit the, the T fairly soon after. Um, I'm actually going to have you just hold, because I'm not liking all of the fighting going around there, honestly. It looks a little bit dodgy. A little bit dodge. Hello. We can finish you off. Perfect. Not getting that much EXP from killing the barbarians, though. I, I don't know if I'm just misremembering, but it felt like in... Civilization 5, you'd get a decent amount for killing them. Maybe not a, a great deal for just fighting them, but you would get a, a, a quite an appreciable sum for killing a barbarian. And that was very, very important. Uh, it, it used to be quite important to just farm barbarians to, to get the uh, experience up on your troops. Oh, we might be able to go even further. We may actually have... Uh, a shallow connection to another continent. Because there's clearly more going on. Clearly much more going on. Ooh. Barbarians approach. I cannot away. imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. <laughs> ah, RMS Titanic. Yeah. Right, well, you're within the city strike range, so... Let's uh, bombard you. There we go. So that was fine. Roads upgraded. Classical roads is unlocked. Upgrading all roads in your territory. Movement points re uh, regardless of terrain. Fantastic. So we've entered a new era then. Right. Okay. Hmm. Allows traders to embark and allows harvesting of fish. Are we not harvesting fish? Oh, why am I even... Bleh. That was silly of me for assuming this. It would also give us the lighthouse, which gives us great admiral points. 25% combat experience for all naval units trained in this city. Also, the great lighthouse... Must be built on the coast, adjacent to land in a harbour district with a lighthouse. Plus three gold, plus one great admiral point per turn. Oh, kind of neat. I mean, it makes sense for a um, civ that gets bonuses to naval. Not bonuses, per se. But uh, we do have some better naval units. Right, well, they've completely skedaddled, so there's no point in being down here. No, alas. No such luck. Not finding the other continent that easily. Right then, let's see what we can see over here. 
Right, there we go. I would like to add a little bit of production, and that has also helped us out with horseback riding, which is very nice. Also, we've got a, a warrior just chilling out. Um, oh, I think I'll move the warriors around just because I don't really see the need for them to be sat in the city. And then we can hook up this tea. We might even go for this stone. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. That is true. Education is very, very important. All right. Unit maintenance reduced by one gold per turn, or plus 15% production towards ancient and classical wonders. I mean, I'm not training any settlers right now, so it's like, yeah, I may as well. Um, yeah, I want more builders, though, to be honest. So I'm going to set up plus 30% production towards builders. There we go. I should have changed that a long time ago. I've had that that uh, particular policy in place for so long without any use coming from it. It's very, very silly of me to have left it there. Right, civics. We have got... Games and Recreation. Allows to build an arena in a... So we get, ah, political philosophy. We really should go for this. Oh my lord, we need this one quite badly. I should really be making a beeline for it. But it's not like we're producing much culture to add to this anyway. Really should address that, to be perfectly honest. Right, now I can do some damage to you. Not enough, clearly. Uh, we've got our holy site, which is great. But I would very much like a melee strength of 20. Yeah, let's go for for this. Very much like that. Uh, we will try and head up here because this is where I would like to set up my ne next city. Okay. Looks okay around here. We're going to have a bit of a long trek to get over there. Ah, oh, you took out my fish again. I am going to have your guts for garters, barbarians. Guts for garters. Alright, well, I can move my warriors away from this area. Uh, my archers, rather. There we go. We've got horses over there, it looks like. Oh, I see you. Start making our way down then. Right. My oh. liege, we are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the fantastic. world. Fantastic. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention. Not too. as fantastic. The more specialized oh. districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. I advise that we continue to build these. Yes, I really should have been working on districts a lot sooner than I, I did in the end. That was a massive oversight. Again, this is more or less a blind playthrough. I've played enough of the game to know, or in many cases just to have read the Civilopedia a little bit, on certain game topics and to just familiarize myself with the UI and you know basic um, elements of the game. But not enough to really have tried these things out in practice. And this series will probably be a lot of me derping around as a result of that. Later on, if I do a second series, if there's interest in that, then hopefully I will have made significant improvements. Now, what's this? Negotiate a peace. Ah, oh, really? You've, you've sued for peace? Ah, oh, how terribly disappointing. How terribly disappointing. I'm not happy with that. No, not at all. Uh, I was expecting that you'd have a good old bloody war for the next little while, and I'd be able to just continue to grow and develop and otherwise outstrip you. Very sad. Very, very sad. All right, but let's check on great people. Okay, I've got, got a tiny amount so far. Uh, we definitely need to start pushing, because there are only four great prophets. Oh, I, I'm not sure exactly 
how many there are. I think there are only a, a handful of Great Prophets. It might depend a little bit on the amount of players involved. Either way, I need to make pro uh, progress and ideally be one of the, the limited number of people who can found a religion. You want tea for th 30 turns. I mean, I've got two. You've got nothing that I particularly want from you, and you'll give me open borders as well. Very well. Although, I feel that perhaps this is worth more. You come to me, tealess. I cannot in good conscience allow you to leave in that sorry state. Very well, Pedro. You may trade for tea. <laughs> Keep my eye on you, though. Keeping my eye on you. Uh, well, having a fight with you would not exactly be the smartest thing to do there. However, right, one thing I do want to have a look is... Can I, can I see anything about other people? Like, what resources they have? How am I... What? How am I at the top there? Oh, I'm not. It's not It's not ranking them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Religious victory, I'm very far, far behind. Very, very far behind. Um, cultural victory, yeah, very far behind as well. Score, not doing particularly well. Uh, domination. Okay, there's two... Two religions have already been founded. Catholicism and Eastern Orthodoxy. Mm. We need to catch up, I feel. We need to catch up very, very much. Right, what's this little landmass there? Oh, I wish I had something that would be able to disembark and get over there. Actually, I may now have the ability to do that. Can I? Yes, I can. I can send my warriors over there then, I suppose. Ah, fantastic. No longer will I be limited in where I go. I mean, I kind of will, but not as much. Of course, when you disembark... Oh, sorry, when you embark, you basically your troops are getting onto small little ships. They're not proper vessels built for war or anything like that. So, as you might imagine, they go down more or less without a fight. And that needs to be kept in mind. There's also a limited number of places where you can embark from. I think anywhere with cliffs you can't can't uh, embark from. Yeah, no. Not liking this. Am I going to be... No, I'm not going to be able to uh, bombard from here. I'm going to have to stand here. And I'm going to have you stand there. And that is fine. And we'll hopefully be able to uh, catch him in the crossfire. Maybe. Uh, sure. Well... No, actually, we won't come off so well in that fight. So, go ahead, start healing up. Then we'll try and take them on if they look weak. What guides you? Surely you cannot believe in nothing. Come, show your people the light. I'm working on it. Working on it really hard. Damn it. All right, let's uh, do a chunk of damage here. Two more need housing, please. It's unfortunate, but it's going to be the way of things for now. I should be able to dis uh, to embark here and just sail right across and then engage. It would be my hope, at the very least. Right. Uh, a granary? Yeah. That seems like the more obvious one to go for. A settler is the other one, though. And getting another settlement just down there would be very, very good. Especially because it would effectively close this area completely. We would then more or less control access from this side. Basically, I'd lock Sparta off from everywhere else. It wouldn't really do that much for me in, in the grand scheme of things, but it would be useful. Oh, can I not disembark? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, very, very upsetting. Well, you can just chill out for now. I'm liking this music. Okay. It's a little bit sad that all of my neighbours don't like me. 
A little bit sad. Declare a surprise war. Warmonger pad penalty would be moderate. No, I, I really don't want to. Um, yeah, our relationship is not going so great. Settled near them. Scared of threatening civs. Okay. What about you? Different governments despises those who avoid war or ca uh, capitulate for peace. They dislike civilizations who do not clear barbarians. What do you mean? I'm trying. It's not my fault that everyone else always gets to the bloody camps before I do. Oh, you're so impossible. Unknown reason. Unknown reason. Unknown. Uh. uh okay. Very. Very well. I don't know why you hate me so much, but okay. There we go. And let's go ahead and... Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I thought maybe, just maybe, there'd be something interesting out there. But alas, no. Right. Now I can actually start having a proper fight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Build a shrine. Gives us plus one great profit point per turn. Allows the purchasing of missionaries. Missionaries can be purchased with faith. That would be useful. A monument would give us a little bit of extra culture. And I'm going to go for the shrine. Let's build up our holy site for now. No. Oh, they're not there. I was actually expecting to encounter them when I popped through. Which is why I popped through there. So that it, uh, if it was something... Because I was going to use up my whole turn... But that way, this archer would be able to uh, back this one up. But no, it doesn't look like I need that. Okay, well, we're going to continue to expand out and hopefully find something. What? <gasps> oh, it took us two turns to do that. That's what happened there. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star, star to, to steer her by. by. Okay, well... We are now in the water and being chased down by a bloody barbarian ship. Where did you pop out from? You went there before, you scoundrel. Alright. Uh, Engineering would be particularly nice. Getting the catapults would be especially nice. The water mill? Yeah, let's let's grab that. Mostly so that we can get to, to being able to build up those facilities. Right, we're going to attack right now without having to engage in combat. How far out can I attack? I can only attack the, the tiles next to me. So it's a bit of a shame. This one's going to retaliate, no doubt, in much the same way. There we go. Now I can just move up here and then join in the fight. Perfect. Oh, well done. Very well done. That is what we like to see. Uh, okay, that was perhaps a little bit uh, overzealous there. Let's get you down so you can start backing them up. Okay, well, I'm a little bit concerned that they're just going to chase me down, but let's hope. Okay, this is potentially going to be a nasty little fight here for my archers. And this back and forth is going to be very worrisome. Okay. Uh, you need to 100% pull right back. And I need you to go over there with them and hopefully just stay out of the way for the time being. I'd like you to pull back all the way in. Damn it, I was hoping that you'd be able to uh, heal up there. But the thing is, that one would have three moves. It would end there. London would be able to attack. So would they. So we'd probably win the fight. I'm not handling that that uh, engagement particularly. Well. I must be nice. Finish them off, please. There we go. These archers, however, are doing very well. Can you get on to this landmass? It's going to take two turns. Give it a try. And then just heal if you have to. Hello! I am going to hurt you in ways that you cannot even imagine. There we go. Now, the advantage here is that the barbarians don't seem interested in healing at all. 
So only I'm going to be healing in this engagement. Hopefully. Right, what are you going to do? You're going to attack. No, unlikely, actually. I mean, you could attack either. Oh, dear. You're going to make it. I don't know. Ah, oh, no. No, you are not going to make it. Or at least it's very, very unlikely. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna let you continue to chase me, but yeah, you're not you're not getting out of this little one. <laughs> I feel so bad. Wow, that that really backfired. Really, really badly backfired. The moment I even thought about going in the water, it's like yeah, all of the ships all of the time. This is where we need to be. Wait, really? <gasps> Yes! Yes! Perfect! As long as we can destroy this ship, I can just pull back. What fantastic timing. I must confess, I am very, very pleased. Right, let's continue to creep upwards, shall we? Okay, not too bad. Oh, wow. They attack us. And then just get walloped or something, because they took a load of damage from somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, I was wondering if I was going to uncover someone there. Makes sense. You're still in a bit of a pickle. Oh, you're now in a great pickle. That is unfortunate. Hopefully we can get you... Oh, that was bad. Hopefully we can get you some sort of... No! Everything dying all of the time. You must have just moved just close enough in order to attack. Uh. I've lost a lot in this turn. Or in the last couple of turns. These barbarians have really been kicking my bum. Alright, let's get off there for now, shall we? You can take them out. can, well, not quite get to that little uh, area just yet. Well, that was most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed, because that took a lot of time to uh, set up. Could you please at least punish them? I would appreciate that. I really was expecting them to just go all in, but they must have just moved there and then taken its move because it had enough movement then to, to get in and attack. Well done. I do uh, appreciate a good bit of planning. However, we need to start uh, thinking about expansion. So, I'm sure the settler be way too much. Way, way too much. Alright. How much would any number of other things be? Build a monument. Build a galley. Uh, I don't really want to build a galley over there, though. That's that's the problem there. A monument would actually help. So let's go ahead and get a monument going. Should probably have held on to the gold for units at some later stage, but... Farewell, brave ship. You did your best. You did your level best. There we go. Now we're on land, we've got a bit of a better chance. Uh, let's step forward, step down. Can you see anything? No. Hmm. Right. Could you move in and finish them off? Thank you. Now, they can probably bombard me from the coast. So I may need to just rush and try and take out the uh, city here. Okay, we can build a naval dockyard, which will give any sea units we build some benefit. Um, or we can start looking at... Holy, holy... Wow. Okay, I can generate great profit points by praying. That's rather awesome. But I would like a, a settler, so let's get to work on that, shall we? We can find out what we've got there. A little bit of extra cash. Always useful. It's quite a nice little place up here. Shame there's no iron, though. Yeah, the 
that's you're probably gone, aren't you? Because they're just gonna take turns. Yep, that was unfortunate. That was a very ill-fated little expedition there. The wheel. Just realign it. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's have a look then. Here we go. We can get now to uh, engineering. Which will give us the aqueduct, which will give us a big bonus to housing. We can also get the catapult. Classical era bombardment unit, ideal for attacking cities. Cannot move and attack on the same turn unless they've earned the expert crew promotion. But that's the one that we're going for. Uh, we need to build uh, ancient walls. We've already done so. So we've already got the Eureka for that one. Uh, I would prefer the archers to catch up. Before you start moving too far away. There we go. You can just sit there for now. As for you, let's start moving forward. Oh, hello. And there we go. Slowly wiping them out with our archers. And I'm doing... The only issue with this is I'm doing very little in the way of expanding out to attack my... Um, AI opponents, and that is a massive concern. That is a genuinely enormous concern. Hmm. May need to have a look into that. Because this place is getting way too big, and they've already started to expand, unfortunately. Uh, oh dear, that is not what I meant to do. Unfortunately, when it... It seems that I start clicking on things, and then it decides that it wants to move one of my units. And it's like, oh yeah, we'll just move over here. It's like, no, 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 let's, let's just not move over here, shall we? Uh, I'm actually going to back you up by attacking them. Because I feel that the Slingers are going to be the least threatening to me. So this way, if they attack, they're probably going to kill themselves. So it may force them to uh, abandon that idea. I'm just going to go on auto-explore for now. But it looks like, unfortunately, we're not easily going to get around there. Oh, that did actually hurt a little bit. Here we go. Let's finish them off, please. No? Not going to finish them off? Oh, that is unfortunate. go, and I may be able to, no, not quite, okay, well, I'll just move in there and take that out, oh, dear, well, hello there, how about I fortify, right, uh, sure, let's start, Well, actually, no. Let's move down here instead. Because I believe they need to be a little closer. Oh, I can't attack on the same turn. Oh, that's just fine. Uh, okay. See, that's the problem. Is I was expecting to be working on the, those next, but it just like grabbed my camera and took it elsewhere. Alright. Well... We've got a trading post over there. Wow, that is a lot of gold per turn that we'd be getting from there. That is an awful lot of gold per turn. Or we can look to set up a route to Newcastle. Hmm. Um. Well, this is clearly one of the better routes for me. But it takes a long time to get down there. You're exposed for most of that journey. Uh, however, I'm going to go for it because it is just one of the best routes. So let's go. Let's head on down there. Now, we're just going to finish you off. Take you out of the running for damaging us. We'll take a promotion shortly. There we go. Go ahead and pass some time. Six, six, five. So it's going to be a, a couple of turns yet before we can do anything, but not a terribly the large opportunity amount. opportunity has arrived for a change into a new and more powerful system yes. of government. Let us strengthen our identity and enact more policies to govern our people. Yes. Divide and rule, a sound motto. 
unite and lead a better one. <laughs> I like that. Idea. Right, okay, so we're going to be changing governments because it just makes every bit of sense. Now, this is where things start to accrue. Uh, earlier in the series, I mentioned that some uh, governments, you would start to... You'd instantly get a certain bonus, but over time, that bonus would kind of stick to your people. It would be sort of ingrained into your culture. So, for example, you get 10% plus 1% every 20 turns on standard speed. Now, that 1% every 20 turns, I believe, is permanent, no matter what government you choose afterwards. Now, all of these show us what kind of policies we'd be able to add. We could go for an autocracy. 10% bonus on wonder production. Capital receives plus one boost to all yields. We could go for classical republic. All cities with a district receive plus one amenity. And 15% bonus great people points. Or an oligarchy. All land melee units gain plus four combat strength and 20% experience for combat units. I think we're going to be going with oligarchy. It will give us pretty much the same um, qualities we have. The only thing the autocracy would have over it is that it has two specific uh, combat um, civics. But no, I think we're going to go with oligarchy. And at this point, we've got a diplomatic one. The first envoy you send to each city-state counts as two envoys, or plus two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. So that would increase the amount of... Uh, we're getting plus three per turn at the moment, so we could increase it up to five. That would seem quite nice. Uh, we'll see how that goes when I assign the policies. And this one could be anything we want. Absolutely anything. So we could go for these, plus two great general points per turn. Scientist points. Profit points. Um, faith in gold capital, all sorts of things, plus 100% production at ancient and classical era heavy and light cavalry, unit maintenance is down, um, double experience points for recon units, but I quite like this one, I want to get that religion, so let's confirm our policies for now. There we go, we're now generating five influence per turn, and in terms of great profit points, we are going to start to catch up a little bit. You're generating three per turn, so you're going to stay ahead of me unless I build some extra districts, which is annoying. Okay. Or I can just purchase them with a lot of money or a lot of faith. That is an option. Not a very useful one for me, to be honest. Not just yet, anyway. All right, let's take them out of this. Or just only mostly do so. Uh, let's pull back a little bit and go back to fortifying. I would like to choose my Civic next. And the next one I would like to go for... Hmm. That would actually be quite nice. No, we're going to be going with Games and Recreation, I think. It's got a few better possibilities, in my opinion. Alright. And you... Will you be bombarding? You... Can... They do 11 damage. They're going to do even less once we've finished hurting them. How much health have we got? Yeah, we've got enough health to weather a couple of their attacks, so we should be fine. There we go. Very nice. Now, I can't actually see anything about them anymore, which is a bit of a shame. You, your promise to the Greek Empire to move your troops from the border have been fulfilled. Excellent. You don't want to necessarily be breaking promises willy-nilly. Even if you are probably going to attack that person, or you don't really care what their particular opinion of you, I imagine the other leaders pay close attention to people who break promises repeatedly. Certainly that would make a lot of sense to me. Alright, could you actually get over there? No, that's a shame. I could take you out so that you could stop harassing them, though. There we go. And at this point, yes, I can attack them. So, well, I do 10. They do 15. How much health have I got? Got 29. Yeah, they've got, like, nothing left. So let's, let's give it a try. There we go. Perfect. And you can just move in. There we are. And we can finish them off now. There we go. Uh, 
Very nice indeed. You're going to have to uh, heal up after this for quite some time, I imagine. Ooh, we've got an envoy. Let's go ahead and pick one or the other. Brazil has already got four envoys with this one, which is like, yeah, that's, that's pretty frustrating, actually. Um, plus two production in every encampment district. I would really prefer to go for this one, honestly. But we're not going to gain any the the really big bonuses because of Brazil. So I guess I'll invest there instead. There we go. And next turn. Four more turns on our settler there. Oh, what happened? Uh, I would prefer it if you just get lost in the forest there and heal up for a while. Same here, honestly. Prefer to just get them somewhere quiet away from the others and just heal. Well done on withstanding that. You don't need to quite as much, but I will get you down to this forest here. Get you to tuck in there and then start uh, fortifying until you're One man's healed. magic is another man's engineering. Very true. Very true. Right, let's check on research. We have got... Great merchants would be quite nice. I don't have iron. And I don't have an easy access to it either, which is remarkably annoying. But, sure, let's, let's go ahead and grab this one since it's not going to take us too long to get... Uh, you can move down. Oh, there they are. And you can do much the same. What if I until healed? And with that, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I'm thinking that the first place I'm going to expand to is down here, just to, as I said, link this area. And then we create a wall through which Sparta can't easily move, and neither can anyone else up to Sparta. Furthermore... Uh, that's probably going to annoy Brazil a little bit. Furthermore, I would like to get somewhere up here. Maybe drop something right there. And just capture this island and just expand out into it. So I may actually go there first, to be perfectly honest. Um, I may actually go there first. Since that is a very attractive place to just shut down and, and claim. I think I would... Uh, there would probably be the better of them. I don't know, if we if we settle right there, I guess we've got it in either direction, but we, there's far less for us to uh, make use of there. Um, but maybe we could build the pyramids out here, because it is desert. Yeah, something to consider. Definitely something to consider. Okay, well, that is going to be the end of this episode, though. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. As always, any feedback, warmly welcomed in the comments. And remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't. But until next time, take care, everyone.